not here to, to fight you that again. And we are endeavoring to keep the man, unity of the good. spirit. I'm good on you. What I'm telling you is that I know the word. So, so, so why I know can't the word. read the scripture? Because I, I just got through reading the scripture to my people, and That's I just right. got through preaching. It's the same thing. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? People of Do you believe the Holy Spirit? What is the Holy Spirit? Yeah, you tell me what the Holy Spirit is, because the Holy Spirit says He'll lead you and guide you in all manner of truth. Did the Bible show you what the Holy Spirit is? No, it don't read the Bible. I'm asking you politely. We exchange numbers. You take all of this and start moving. That's the whole goal. Good. We exchange moving numbers, and y'all go ahead and take this and move. In that order. Let's go and shit. That is the order. No, the order is go ahead and start moving it, and no, we'll exchange numbers. Let's exchange numbers. numbers. We have no deal. So you don't want to exchange numbers? You don't want to hear truth, do you? What does the truth say? You, well, you tell me what the truth is. That's what the Bible tells us. Yes, I don't want to Now you know this stuff. I got black boys that don't need that doctor. Hey, let's speak. Come here, man. The last Hello. thing that we want to hear right Hello. now Hello. is that we have Hello. black boys in the black community Hello. that does not need this Bible here. Hello. That's the one thing that we're not going to do. Because our Bible says that our black men right now are completely destroyed. Give me that in um, Hosea. Give me um, destroyed. Hosea 4. That right there is a problem. Because our black men need to know not to sell drugs to each other. Our black men need to know how to love their wives, how to marry their women. Teach. Our black men know, needs to know how to become pillars in their community. That's right. And the problem with our people now is the fact that we want to read the Bible to get answers. And we have a leader in a black community that refuses to even let us read the Bible to his people. That's right. That's the problem. Read that thing. Teach. Say it. Tell the four verse six. Bring it out. people are destroyed. For the lack of knowledge. The Bible says that the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American men, men first, are destroyed for the lack of the knowledge of the Most High God. Jesus. Right. Now we came out here in peace. We came out here wanting to set up a sit-down. What we're not going to do is have anyone dictate how we run our show right here. That's Jesus right. Christ. No. That's what we're not going to do. That's right. Read that again. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. The Most High God says his people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Part of that destruction is the Christian church. That's right. That's right. Part of that destruction is the Christian church. Now, I didn't have to go here, but the fact that the brother didn't want to, didn't want to take our phone number, didn't want to talk to us, and then we said we came in peace. Right. We're not out here with any guns. We don't have any knives. We're not even forcing the doctrine on you. That's right. What we're trying to do is make you wake up. Our people need to wake up. Finish that off. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Go ahead. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, Go ahead. I will also reject thee. And the That's most high right. God has rejected us now. We see the self-hatred in our own people. It's fine we can go to church, praise, dance, do all these things while our sisters hate their own hair. Bring it out. While our brothers and sisters hate the skin that they're in, they hate their own people. Right. Oh. You go back to your home, yet another black kid is getting put to death right now. That's and right. you asked if we went to the, the Muslim mosque. At least the Muslim mosque teaches some form of God's laws. Give me right. the zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. 
The problem with our people is we love to praise God, but we don't want to do what God commands. That's right. We don't want to do God's laws. That's right. Give me Jeremiah 4 and 22 real quick. Give me Je Yeah, we all going over scriptures, sis, and you should chill and, and sing here with us. Because that's what we're based around. We just spoke to your pastor, and he didn't want to open the Bible and talk about it. Bring it out. Read that, Jeremiah 4 and 22. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. Bring it out. My people is foolish. It says the most high God says his people are what? Foolish. Go ahead. They have not known me. They have not known the most high God. That's right. Our people do not know who the most high God is. Jesus. That's right. Read. They are Sadist children. They are what? Sadist children. The most high God says that his people are Sadist children. Sadist, another word for Sadist is stupid, Jeez. foolish, dumb, ignorant. Sadist children. We walk up in the Christian church right there and go back to our same decrepit communities. How you doing, brother? Give that brother a fire right there. The beautiful part is there's a set of people that's not going to fall for this nonsense. That's right. The pastor talking about, I got children to raise and they don't need to hear this. We didn't even go with doctrine yet. As a matter of fact, he said something about eating foods and stuff. Get that in Timothy real quick, man. No. Let's deal with that dumb. Let's deal with that doctrine right now before we go and get some understanding of what the Bible is talking about. That's right. How in the world are you talking about you leaving your community? You have your community all out of order. See a bunch of women coming out here dressed immodestly, blonde hair, all type of, and talk about this image right here doesn't matter. Talk about the white image of Jesus Christ doesn't matter when we are assembled. We we embody everything that the white Jesus stands for. Teach which is self-hatred and hatred for your nation. Read that thing. Go ahead. First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. Read it out. Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Some shall depart from the faith. Read. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Giving heed to seducing spirits. Right now, what you've heard right there is a, the, the dude, to be honest, I looked the brother in the eyes and he looked like a damn criminal. You know. He looked like a liar. He looked like a whole, what you call them dudes, a dirtbag. He's exactly what your pastor looked like. And he should be ashamed of himself. Read. And doctrines of devils. And doctrines of devils. Because no scripture tells the Israelites that they can eat whatever they want. Go Break them up. Forbidding to marry and come. Commanding to abstain from meat. Commanding to abstain. That's going into your Catholic church, which your Christian church is based off of free. Which God has created to be received with thanksgiving. Right. And of them which believe and know the truth. That's the thing. We had a discussion about what is the truth of the Most High God. God didn't create it. What fools did the Most High God create to be received of thanksgiving? And damn sure it wasn't a pork chop. Right. And it wasn't a shrimp scampi that you're all about to go buy and break the Sabbath for. That's right. What is the truth? We asked the brother what the truth is. We asked him to go to the Bible. The brother said, I don't want to read it. So give him the truth real quick. So, chapter 119 and verse 142. Bring it Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. The laws of God is the truth. Hey. The laws of the Most High God is the truth. That's so, right. sister, let's get in your car. Don't let your pastor lie to you and tell you the truth. It's anything but the laws of God. Right. And the laws of God says you can't eat whatever you want to eat. Right. It's a damn shame that that brother came out here and tried right. to dictate how we were going to conduct our business. At first he said, hey, Let's get the phone number and wrap it up. We would have wrapped it up. But no, then he tried to change y'all wrap up and then get the phone number. We'd already turned the speaker off for him. But it's obvious that that brother there didn't want no parts of what we're doing because we're speaking the truth. Oh, that's so right. Back to Timothy. Oh. Don't give me that zeal of God, doctrine of the devils, and we can get the hell out of here. Romans chapter 10 and verse 1. If, you, if any of you all have an ear, you better hear this word right here before we wrap up. Read. Brethren, my heart desire in prayer to you to, I'm sorry. Brethren, my heart desire in prayer to God for Israel. And that's the thing. We're still going to pray for you. Not in that foolish prayer that that brother gave out here, though. Hey. We're still going to send up prayers for our brothers that are losing the great war of ignorance. Teach. That are dying spiritually or that are dead spiritually. We're Take still going to pray for you. That's right. Read. That they might be saved. That you might be saved. 
We're trying to save God's chosen people. That's you right. so-called black, Hispanics, and Native American, that's who you are. That's the right. The brother don't want us to put signs out. What's offensive about these signs? This is your history, right. sister, that's, right. that's walking into the church. This is your history, read. For a bare record. The most bare record he wrote this down, read. That they have a zeal, that they have a zeal of God. They come out praise, dancing, stopping, shouting, doing whatever the hell they doing. You have a zeal of God, but what? But not according to knowledge. But not according to the knowledge of the most high God. That's right. I'm going to tell you straight, hey sister, just dump the trash out. I'm going to tell you straight one thing. Whenever you try to read the Bible and the brother says, no, we don't need the Bible, you need to run from that bastard. That's right. You better run from that pastor that tells you, no, don't open up the Bible, don't read that thing. You better run from that pastor that says it's all right for you to be a homosexual. Bring it out. It's all right for you, sister, to wear pants. It's all right for you to break the Sabbath day. It's all right for you to give your tithes. Bring it out. You better run from that pastor. Read that again. For a bare record that they have a zeal of God, right. but not according to knowledge. You all have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Get the knowledge of the Most High God real quick. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7, Bring it out. is the knowledge of God. This is how we read the Bible. Right. This is how we teach the Bible to our people. Teach. We don't talk to you and give you a shout and a dance and clap our hands and tell you what God says. We read what God says to you. Right. And let the Spirit deal with you. Read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. It says your pastor's lips should keep the knowledge of the Most High God. I guess you think that we would, we must have been intimidated or scared when you were calling cops. You want to come out and, and, and use physical force for what? We've been there, done that. Right. We came in peace. That's right. We came uncombative, non-confrontational. We didn't have a problem. All we want to do is read the Bible. Right. We go out to pimps, hustlers, drug dealers, crack houses, Muslims all day, every day. Yeah. This is light work. This is nothing. The problem is, y'all don't want the spirit of unity. You want to keep our people destroyed. Right. That's right. You want to keep our people walking around like zombies, not right. knowing who they are. Right. And you're going to burn for that thing. Yeah. Right. Right. We love our people. That's the difference. We love God's chosen people. That crack dealer that's on the corner, we love that brother. That's right. right. That yeah. sister that's, that's struggling with, with self-identification. That's struggling with whoredom. That's struggling with knowing who she is. Yeah. Struggling with loving her skin, her hair, everything about herself. That's yeah. right. We love them people. That's what we teach. That's, that's right. right. Read that again. For the priest lips should keep knowledge. It says our priest lips should keep knowledge. And this is what your pastor is supposed to be teaching you read. And they should seek the law. The what? The law. The what? The law at his mouth. You're supposed to be seeking the laws of God at your pastor's mouth. That's, That's right. right. That's the reason why we're destroyed today as a people. And it shows you how ignorant our people are. We send brothers up there to speak peacefully. No problems. Ain't nobody beefing. We got bigger enemies or bigger issues to worry about than y'all. Right. Right. We came out here to try to help you. That's right. We came out here to try and join with you so that we can come together and fix our community. Right. But you don't want that because you benefit from the destruction of our people. You should be ashamed right. of yourself. Oh, that's that's right. in, um, Jeremiah 23 about our pastors teaching our people. Right. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Yesterday, right. did you teach your pastor not to collect tithes yesterday? Right. 
Read. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. Read it out. Woe unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of it my says, pastors. It says destruction unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep from the most high God's pasture. We're showing you black history. We're showing you that the Christian churches have destroyed and continue to destroy our people. Right. Yes, it's right. a white man's religion forced upon you through right. slavery, brothers. That's, That's right. right. You need to wake the hell up. Read that again. Woe be uh, unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep. That said destruction unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep. Read. Of my pasture, saith the Lord. Read. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Go against the pastors that feed my people. The Most High God is against the pastors that are feeding the Most High God's people wrongfully, brother. Right. Right. We must teach our women to marry their husband and not lay down with someone prior to marriage. Right. That's right. That's we right. must teach our little girls not to have boyfriends. Right. That's right. We must teach our people to follow the Most High God's dietary laws. Right. 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 We must teach our women that your woolly hair is beautiful, sisters. That's right. Right. Your black or brown hair is beautiful, sisters. That's right. That's right. And that you don't need to have to look like your oppressor in order to be accepted, but in society and to yourself. Right. Right. We must teach our sisters those things. Our pastors are not teaching those things. And that is the problem. Read that again. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. You have not visited our people. Look at, our, look at the congregation, man. You got nothing but women and young men and children coming out here. And the grown men didn't want to come up here and speak to other grown men about scriptures. Right. You know, a friend here looking for a fight. As if, you know what I mean? Come out here and talk about all oh, you guys are black, Hebrew, Israelites. All you see is about six or seven brothers out here. If we wanted a problem, we would have came out here deeper than what you think. That's right. right. And we wouldn't have even tried to dialogue with you, ask you for your phone number, speak in peace, be on the other side of the street. We're not yeah. worried about that nonsense. That's true. Right. Give me a hard time to wake up, man. Romans 13. 59. Yeah, finish it, finish it. Behold, I will visit upon the evil of your doings. Take this as warning, brothers. Take this as warning. The same way we talk to those dope dealers, crackheads, drug pushers, drug dealers in our decrepit, jacked up communities, is the same way we come into this Christian church giving right. you warning about the things that you're teaching our people. That's right. That's the right. nonsense that you're teaching our people. Teach, right. Right. It would have been better off if you just exchanged phone numbers and kept it moving. That's right. It's not that bad. We didn't come out here for that. We came out here to try and create unity in our community, but you're worried about your damn pockets. Right. You're worried about your congregation and how you're going to continue to ride your nice car and get an airplane or whatever the hell you're talking about. Right. It ain't about that, though. It's not about that. Read. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. Read. And that knowing the time, and now that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Now it is high time. What's the pastor's name? Pastor Fulton, it is high time to awake out of sleep. Right. That's right. We're not out here to fight. We come in peace. That's right. Right. All we want to do is create a dialogue so that we can come under one mind and one spirit in the Bible to fix the issues in our communities. Right. Right. Damn, how many black men got to get put to death before we try to unite? That's right. How many out. young sisters got to get raped before we try to unite? Right. How many prisons are going to be built for our brothers that are that are being used and, and that are being led the wrong way? That's right. That think they have no way. That's right. right. How many of these things we got to go through as a people before we come back to the Most High God's laws? That's right. But our people don't want that. Finish that off. That now is that knowing that time. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It is high time to awake out of sleep. Read. For now is our salvation nearer than we would believe. What you don't understand, brothers, is that our salvation is nearer than what you believe. That's right. The officer was going over how to repent and what repentance is, true repentance. Either you love the Most High God in his Bible or you don't. That's right. right. Give me the love of God real quick. Teach, huh? Give me the love of God real quick. Read. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. Read it out. This is the love of God. This, right. my brother, is the love of God. We're going to go through Bible definitions. 
since you didn't want us to, find, to define the things that we were trying to explain to you in the Bible, here is how you love God now. Girl, I pray, sister, that you're listening. Teach. I pray, brother, in the, in the baseball cap that you're listening. I pray, brother, with the blue sweater that you're listening. This is how you love God. Read. That we keep his commandments. We must be teaching and keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments. That's, That's right. right. Teaching the discipline that it takes not to fornicate. That's right. Teaching the discipline that it takes not to break the most high God's dietary laws. That's right. Not to break the most high God's Sabbath. That's right. right. That's how you love God. Read. Right. And it's yeah. come. No, oh, that's good. He's good. Bitch, bitch. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments, right. and His commandments are not grievous. It should not be grievous not to hate and kill your brothers. It should not be grievous. Let's get the Holy Ghost and then we'll wrap up. Let's teach these brothers what the Holy Ghost is. Bring it out. Bring. Because the brother asked if we came in the spirit of the Holy Ghost. What is the Holy Ghost now? Teacher. Because these brothers were standing out there with the pastor. Right. And the pastor says some foolishness, so we're going to show you what the Bible says. Read. Teacher. Acts chapter 7 and verse 51. Right. Yeah. Stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ear. That's heavy. Because we just saw some stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears brothers. Right. They didn't want to hear the Bible. Right. Damn, all we did was say, hey, can we read the Bible to explain it? Teach, that huh? stiff neck and uncircumcised and hardened ears hit. Yo, and it hit hard. Because the pastor said, yeah, man, y'all brothers coming out here to take my members. We ain't doing that. Right. If you read the flyer, it tell you what we came here for. Read. Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. You're resisting the Holy Ghost now. That's in the Bible. Read. As your fathers did, so do ye. Because you're the same people that put Christ on the court. On the cross that said, crucify him. That's right. You're the same people that said, hey, his blood will be on our heads, but you got to kill him. You got to kill him because he's messing up our money and our place in Rome. Read. 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 Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? I bet you if y'all wanted to or, or could do it, y'all would come out here with baseball bats, guns, and knives and try to kill us. That's right. And you know Read. why we're not lying? Because it's, try it's been tried already. That's right. It's been tried already. Read. Teach. And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one. They have slain them that tried to show you that Jesus Christ is coming and salvation is for you, black man, if you repent. Read. Of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. Go ahead. Who have received the law. Who have received the law. Read. By the disposition of angels and have not Kept it. I give you Matthew 26. So the Holy Ghost is the laws of the Most High God. That's right. right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.